all right y'all welcome back to another one so this one this video will probably be released right before i release the uh part two to the first 12 levels because i told y'all i really want to understand what sub levels are i really feel like i never really understood what they were so we got a video right here by brutally the man himself about what sub levels are so we're just gonna go ahead and check it out Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video made by yours truly. Yep. This video I'm going to be answering the question, what are backrooms sublevels? Where they are, what they do, why they exist, you know all the fun stuff. Also I apologize, my voice is extremely hoarse in this video. You might not notice the difference but I sure had a tough time recording this. I did it right after I was at a basketball game so bear with me here, hopefully you enjoy. This is the start of a brand new series, kind of like the negative level series I have, but in this series, I'll be going over two sub-levels in each of the videos. Oh, and then at okay. the end of them, when I'm done with all the sub-levels, I will combine them into one big video for you to watch. So yeah, if you like sub-levels, and if you like me explaining levels, then you'll probably like this series. Let's get into it. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a the two sublevels for today, I gotta go over what sublevels actually are. Sublevels are levels or places found inside or between two levels. Okay. They're typically smaller than full levels. I don't understand that. So how does the layout of the back rooms even work? Like you to uh, that shit is fucking my head. But most of the time they're more detailed or they have more stuff happening in them. Now there's something else called a sub-layer. These are not sub-levels because sub-layers are only located inside of a level. Kind of like just a section of level. So I won't be talking about sub-layers, I'll be talking about sub-levels. And the first sub-level for today is level 0.2, aka the remodeled mess. Level 0.2 is classified as a class 3 and was actually created by a group in the backrooms called the Backrooms Remodeling Company. It looks like a revamped version of level 0 with new st What? Why would you want to Oh my god, yo. stuff to make it not as gross Why as Why would you want to do that? The carpet is red and dry here, unlike the wet carpet of level 0, and the walls are white instead of yellow. There's also working Wi-Fi and electrical outlets, and even a random bathroom every so often. This is working one of the only sub-levels, or levels in general, that's been created wholly by a group, so that makes it pretty unique. Apparently their goal was to recreate the first level to make it more habitable. However, this level does have some weird stuff that happens in it once you get there. The second you step foot in the level, it starts to crumble and fall apart, kind of like it's destroying itself on purpose. The ceiling will start to fall, the tiles what? from the ceilings will just fall right on top of you, the walls will break in half and crumble over, and behind the walls is what looks to be like an old abandoned house. Now this self-destruction will stop when the reaction reaches the entrance back to level zero and the level will then instantly go back to how it was. Red carpet and white walls. What nice. World? No one knows if the level was purposefully made to fall apart by the remodeling company, or if it's just unstable. It's unstable. Kinda. Sounds unstable to me. Yeah. There are no bases here and no outposts, obviously. And to enter the level, you just have to continue walking on the regular level zero until the carpet starts to get drier and drier, and the walls start to look like they're under construction. Then you'll notice a door to this sublevel. So just go through that door and you'll be here. To exit, you have to go right back where you came in to get back to level zero. I actually kind of like this one. It's kind of like an alternate version of level zero, which is cool because it's cleaner and not as crazy. And I really like the fact that it's not stable and can be destroyed by itself. Pretty cool to me. So the next sub level today is called level 1.5, AKA inverted. This area is classified as a class undetermined because most of it's undocumented or it doesn't make any sense, or both. This level is really easy to get to, but it's hard to leave, and there's only been one explorer that's been communicating from this level for a while, but what? we'll get into that later. Most of the communication has been garbled, but the- What in the world? How does he say communications? Through wireless Bluetooth? Interesting. Explorer has described this level as broken or backwards. And the lighting in the- Nah, these videos got me tweaked, bro. I go cap. This level is actually fluorescent darkness and not fluorescent light like you're used to. So the light from the bulbs will be black. 
this level is actually also completely silent and you can't hear anything no buzzing nothing no, else no entities that's except the whispers which come from the entity called the denizens which are a very weird entity that whisper to lure you deeper into the level the louder the whispers get the further away you are and the further away the whisper sound the closer you are to the denizens so it's opposite it's of weird. how it normally would work the explorer says that some of the whispers are actual words or phrases like she come, won't back, let go, which to me sounds like they're trying to lure you deeper and deeper into the level. So this level is pretty much a level with everything that's inverted possible. Like I said, the lights are black and not yellow or white, and the walls are white instead of any other color, and it kind of feels like that inverted filter that used to be on the iPhone. There's also those denizen entities that are trying to lure you to them for some reason that we don't know. It's not known where the level 1.5 actually is, but it's obviously between two levels somewhere. There aren't any bases here, and there's no known entrance or exit besides just randomly no clipping, which is actually kind of creepy because imagine just having the ability to randomly end up here just by no clipping with nothing. That's creepy. Plus the denizens are always whispering at you, which is even more terrifying. It's also new information that that explorer, which is named Chaos Raider, is actually missing and is officially considered KIA wow. due to lack That's of communications. Crazy. In his last log, he mentions specifically a figure called the Mother and said that the denizens will actually talk about this Mother character saying things like Mother loves you or come child, just weird stuff. So Brugley's advice is to avoid this level at all costs, except I know you can't because you can just randomly be no clipped here. But uh, if you do get here, just try to noclip out as soon as possible. Because being stuck in an inverted world where everything's upside down in different colors does not sound fun to me at all. Not at all. So yeah, that is it for the start of the Sublevels Explained series. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of video. Like I said at the beginning, it's very similar to the negative levels explained. I'm just... Okay, I, I kind of understand what Sublevels are now, but I'm still kind of confused about the whole concept of just like the fact that like there are rooms between rooms like it just makes it like how is it layered is it like a cake or is it like you know what i mean like i feel like there's no real like what is it how is it formed like and how many levels even are there i know i was looking at through the page and i seen there was a level like 9.9999 so i guess the back room is just on a whole different dimensional plane of its own but then that would it really make sense because you can no clip into different dimensions. I don't see it's all just a big mind, you know what I mean? Whatever. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment what else you guys want me to check out. Hope you guys have been enjoying back rooms. And uh, yeah, bro, uh, we're just going to keep doing these. But I just still, bro, I'm still so confused. I'm trying to understand it, but it's just so many questions I still got. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one, bro. Peace out.